Hi, in this video, we will have a look at Microsoft Power Automate Community Thread. So here, we have a couple of files in a document library under the SharePoint. The business rule we want to implement here is extract the very first four characters of this file name, then create a folder if it doesn't exist, then move the file into that folder. So if the folder is already there, we don't need to create it. Okay, so let's start building the flow then. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use the manual trigger here. Right. The next step I'm going to use here is the the first thing is we need to get all the files. Okay, for that I'm looking at the action step called get files. Get files properties. Here it is. Select the SharePoint site name then the document library which is test doc lib okay here it is so i'm going to delete all this now here there's some folders here i'm going to delete all that the plan is you know i will drag and drop a file here with the you know the requirement explained in the thread here something like 0188 underscore a file name then we need to extract the first four characters so I'm reading the file now so that means I'm going to get all the files from that document library then the next thing is I'm going to add an action step again add a compose action step and rename the file I'll rename this to compose to that's good practice file file name with extension okay Okay, here we are going to look at the dynamic content file name with extension from the previous step. Okay, add another action step again inside the for loop. So everything is inside the for loop now because we want to do more than one file. Okay, then what we want to implement here is we want to get the first four characters. Okay, so I'm going to say get first four characters of that file. For that, I'm going to use a function type split. Click on the dynamic content, select the previous output, comma. The separator I'm going to use is the underscore. So the underscore means, let me go back here, see that? Uh, see the file name here, see with underscores here. So um, when I split it, I get an array, then I'm going to use the first expression to get for, you know, from the array. So this will create an array, then I'm going to use first. See, first of that array. The split gives me an array, the first means the very first element of in that array. Add that. So that should give me the file name then, uh, the first four characters of that, okay? The next thing is we need to check the folder exists or not. So in Power Automate, we, we don't need to check it. The good news here is you can just use create folder. And if the folder is there, it will just ignore that. So select that and then here under that again, test aj doclib. Then the folder path. The folder path is my, um, you know, in the same directory I want to create that folder. So from the get first four characters. Again, click on the dynamic content, get first four characters. Here it is. Let's save this flow now. Oh, okay, I need to put some proper name now here. Uh, demo move file. Okay, save the file, uh, flow again, yeah, that's done. So that's create folder. 
the next thing is uh, you know we can't move the file there is there is an action step called move move file there but you can only move to another library you can't move to the same uh, you know location in another folder so for that we need to go and create it create a new file then delete the file from the parent directory that's the plan so for that first we need to get the content of the existing file so use get file content so that's the one we are after now so for that i'm going to use again the get file content that's a unique identifier ah that's a one drive <laughs> that's the wrong one i selected it i wondered what happened there i want the get file content from the sharepoint connector um here we go get file content yeah here it is in that yeah again select the site name the file identifier is again the dynamic one so search for id get file properties you should be able to see here this is id we want we don't don't use this one this is the one value that can be used in file related action stuff for selecting a file because we want to get the content of the file okay so this stage we got the file uh, file content now we are ready to create the file now so use create file action step again the sharepoint one you can see the one drive also so always use the sharepoint one here okay okay select the site okay the folder the folder name is going to be slash test aj doc lib slash then insert the dynamic content so when you say insert see that is kind of disappeared it or try to select it and see that select that test doc test aj doc lib okay here it is type slash insert dynamic content yeah it is disappeared again we can add that slash later so here i want the output of the the previous first four characters that's where we are going to put so search for output that's a folder we want to you know create the file so get file uh, first four characters okay like you mentioned earlier put the slash here it is now the file name so file name uh, again dynamic search for file name with extension that's a file name content it's again you see it's coming from the get file content so that is get file content file content here it is save the flow so that's done now the last step is we need to delete that file okay right so let's go back add an action step again and delete file here we go delete file sharepoint action step again select the site file identifier it's the same thing we did earlier so go to the dynamic search for the id look for get file properties file identifier that's the one save it okay that's done now let me go back and put some files here okay i've got two files so it should be able to create 0188 folder then move this file then another folder 8967 that should move to that folder so i forgot to say something here earlier so when we when we retrieve it what what we want is we want only get in the get files we want only get the files only remember that so for that i'm going to apply a filter here that's quite key uh, you know some one of the key things here so for that i'm going to apply a filter query and then put my filter query here so that filter query is my file system object fs o b j type okay file system object type is equal to zero zero means it's files one means it's folders so it will only get the files only if you put one means it's only get the folder names from that document library which is test oh, uh, test aj doc liberty sorry yeah that's the one okay so we need to put zero here that's the filter i forgot that here it is right create folder let's make sure test aj doc lib create file i'm doing uh, 
sorry create new folder okay that's there test aj.lib create file test aj.lib delete file it's identifier okay looks like it's okay now right let's run this hopefully this should move into the relevant folders and creating you know create created in two folders also then the file should be created under that then delete the files from the parent folder okay let's test this file um, flow now okay look like flow is running okay so far yeah that's done now let me refresh this page there it is we can see that is been mode that is also been mode see that so that's the technique we need to use here remember uh, the key thing here is extract only the files we don't want other folders so remember if you have folders then you need to check that again if condition and also that's the reason i put uh, file system fsobj type equals zero it's case sensitive remember so ex put exactly like that and then you know extracting the file name uh, then getting the first four characters using this expression we have here you know and then i'll put this in my video description the, uh, the expressions then creating the new folder with those four characters getting the file content creating the file using the file content finally deleting the file from the parent folder which is from the root folder that is gone now yep hope this is useful thank you for watching